Hello and welcome to the first STEM box tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a strawberry DNA extraction. I'm Kina, founder of Stembox, and this is Caroline, our social media specialist. Hi. We have in front of us two spanking new stem boxes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna crack into them. Okay. They're a little different than yours because we're just starting, these are our beta boxes, but you'll get some nicer ones at home. So when you open your box, you're gonna see some paper smooth out of the side, and there should be a protocol in your box. So we're just gonna take everything out and we're gonna show you what's in here. So first things first, mashing baggie. This is basically just a Ziploc bag. <laughs> um, you also have a funnel. These are reusable, so save these. Yeah. We have a transfer pipette, reusable as well, save it. You can rinse it out by expelling and pushing up and down with water when you're done with it. Okay. We have gauze. This is basically like a cheesecloth. We have isopropanol. Yes. Okay, just a word about isopropanol. Isopropanol, according to the label and the MSDS out there for it, it is very flammable, so keep it away from any sparks, any warm, hot sources. Do not get it in your eyes. Um, if you do, you're not gonna go blind, it's fine. Honestly, I've done it once and it hurts. <laughs> it hurts, but it's fine. And so that's why we wear safety goggles. So wear your safety goggles when we show you them. And then also, if you do get it in your eyes, wash it out for 15 minutes. Um, do not ingest. It is about the size of a tablespoon but it could still make you very sick, so do not ingest this. All right, good. Boring part's over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> DNA extraction buffer. This is the magic. So what is in this is um, about a tablespoon, or sorry, a teaspoon of, what is it, Dawn dish soap. There is some salt and there's water. So you're gonna see some white precipitate at the bottom of your tube. That's just the salt mixture. So Caroline has a little bit. Right? Yeah, it's like on the side over here. Yeah, so to fix that, you're just gonna invert a few times and it should go away. Okay, <laughs> um, we have an empty 15 mil conical tube. You're gonna need that. We have safety goggles. Mine are orange. <gasps> oh, Yours are orange. orange. Okay, great. They are, yeah. So should I wear these even though I'm wearing glasses? So that's up to you. Depending on how well you can see without your glasses, you are encouraged to wear safety glasses so that nothing happens to yours. Or you can try fitting them over because they fit over some people's glasses. Or you can just wear your glasses. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Trial and error. You have four safety gloves. These are nitrile. There is no latex in them, so if you have a latex allergy, should be fine. Tattoos. Ooh, fun. I know. <laughs> I love tattoos. <laughs> These are DNA tattoos. So we talked about DNA in the other videos. This is the double helix. So to do that, you just wet it with a paper towel. You know, read the instructions on the back. These are called pins. A pin. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a pin, sorry. <laughs> um, so anyways, be careful. They're kind of sharp. Don't swallow them. Please don't swallow them. They have another DNA helix on them. Yeah. Every box comes with a pin, so make sure you wear your pin every time you do your experiment. Yeah, they're like badges can of science honor. Yeah, good on. idea. Let's see if I can get this. Here. Perfect, great. Okay, and then we also have Eppendorf tubes. The name sounds funny, but we use these in the lab all the time. So they hold about one and a half mils of liquid. So just keep these to the side. You're gonna need them. All right, two more things, I promise. Okay, base pair stickers. Oh, cool. These are the base pairs of DNA. Again, we talked about this in the other video, but um, basically you have thymine, guanine, adenine, and cytosine. Those are for fun for later. And lastly, the biggest piece of the box, this is your tube rack. These are disposable, but you can reuse them. Um, and to use them, you just poke a hole in the top. All right, so is that everything? That's yeah, it. I think so. All right, so we're gonna close these up, get them out of the way. Oh, and of course, you're gonna need some strawberries. Any good scientist will make sure that she and herself, I mean, sorry, she and her surroundings and people in her surroundings are safe before beginning any experiment. So that means that we're gonna wear goggles if we can. I don't know about these. <laughs> will they fit you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. That's okay. What's okay? Can you see without your glasses? No. Not very well. <laughs> okay. Um, but, but you're fine. They'll, they'll the coverage me. is pretty similar. Pretty good. Those okay. are pretty big glasses. All right. Just don't get stuff in your eyes. 
All right, garbage we'll put over on the side. All right, so step one. Gloves. We need our gloves. Got it. Glove five. All right, <laughs> so step one, mashing baggie. Now that we're safe. Woohoo. All right, okay, mashing baggie. We're gonna pick out, we're gonna open the bag. Strawberry, full strawberry, beautiful strawberry, right? All right, let's put it very carefully in the bag. All right, Caroline. So do we get the air out? Yeah, of try this? and push out as much okay. air as possible. Okay. This is the best part, Got it. in my opinion. Cool. Well, maybe second best. Probably move this out of the way. Okay, so now we've got our strawberry in our bag. Think of something that has bothered you. My dog nipped at me today, oh, so that was yeah. upsetting. <laughs> also, it's raining a lot. So anyways, use that energy, that frustration, and just take it out on your strawberry. Ugh, bad weather. <laughs> okay, hold on. You gotta be like extra mean to it. And some of your bags might pop and that's okay, it's just strawberry. This is the fun part. How, how mashed do we need this to be? You want it to be- Pretty mashed. Pretty mashed, like if you were a blender. Oh, okay. So that's pretty good, right? That's like one good blender pulse. Anyways, the point of this yeah, step is to really break helps. up the strawberry into as many single cells as we can, which is pretty thorough for hands. Yeah. So we have like a little strawberry smoothie. What do you, how's yours? It's coming along. It's okay. It's getting there. Can also squeeze. Looks kind of good. It helps to do it with your fingers. Okay. I'm gonna smush it all down. Um, is this, what do you think? That looks great. Is that right? Yeah, I got a little too much air in my bag, but that's okay. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, and then you squeeze it all down because you're gonna do stuff soon. And we're gonna set up our tubes so that we have everything ready when we need it. So we're just gonna stick them in. So this, you can just stick the tubes into the perforated part and they should hold. That's pretty good. So now we have strawberry, single cell suspension, as good as it can get. And we're gonna need our DNA extraction buffer. Yes. Do you have that? Yes. There is some parafilm around the top and we use that in the lab just to make sure that nothing spills during shipping or storage. So the best way to do it is just to Perfect. <laughs> it's super easy. Um, so we're gonna pour about Great. half of this into our bag. So the soap in the mixture is going to help break, in, break open the lipid cell wall. Is that the bilipid layer? I poured layer. a little bit more. That's okay. <laughs> the lipid bilayer of the cell. Is um, this emulsion? No, no. Okay. <laughs> this is polarity. Polarity. Yep. So you're gonna mush it up, the water in the suspension just gives everything more room to move around and the salt creates a different kind of electronegativity in the water. And it helps to pull out proteins in different components of the cell that are not DNA. Cool. All right, cool. So mix, mix, mix. Have you seen a cat we need on a person? <laughs> it's like that. Uh. Yep. Fantastic. <laughs> just okay. like that. I would recommend pulling out as much as you can to the bottom by just squeegeeing with your fingers. Okay, empty tube. Yes. Now we need our empty 15 mil conical tube. Open it up. Now we need our funnel. Set the funnel on the inside. Okay. Take some of your gauze and kind of pack it in. So it should look like all right, this is the messy part too. Wait, is this too packed? No, that's good. You only want a little bit of this. So I'm gonna hold it, I'll just pour a little bit in and I'll show you how it should look. Cause often what happens is there's too much and then I see. All right, oof, oof. <laughs> All right, this is why we wear gloves. Okay, so see how it's sitting on the cheesecloth? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna squeeze a little bit out. Okay. And if I need more, I can always go back. Okay. Squeeze. 
There we go. About that much is good. Cool. Let me try it. That's awesome. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. great. So now, um, find your isopropanol. Again, super flammable, toxic. Don't get, ingest it. Don't get it in your <laughs> eyes, please. Ready? I'm just gonna squeeze the bulb to expel any air and stick it in and it'll drop about hmm, like a mil of liquid. And this part's pretty cool. So try not to get this on your varnish tables at home. It might mess them up. But anyways, just gonna add it here. Squeeze it all in. Yep. And you'll start to see, see how that's pulling up already? Oh, cool. So what you're seeing is the DNA Ooh. aggregate and remove wow. itself from the mixture. And the snot, it looks like snot. That is wild, wow. I know, right? <laughs> Super cool. Wow, that is so cool. All right, cool. And oh so God. just a little bit more. See more? how that is? Oh wow, you have a lot in there. Strawberries have a ton. It's really cool. It looks like a jellyfish. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, so next step. We have some DNA gunk floating around in there. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> Look at that. Do you see it? It just looks like snot. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna take some Eppendorf, one Eppendorf tube should be enough. Okay. And we're gonna reuse our pipette. Okay. Use this to kind of suck up. And use your hands too if you can. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Ooh. This is so similar to what happens in the lab when we have blood samples and we need to get DNA out. This is just like almost to a T the same. There's so much DNA. Normally you don't get this much DNA out of living organisms, but strawberries are polyploidy, which means they have more than one copy of every chromosome. And a chromosome is just kind of the container that holds a whole strand of DNA, which is a super long fragment. In fact, I'm pretty sure if you strung together every piece of DNA in your body from end to end, it would reach back from the moon to here about 6,000 times. I got it. Good. Got you, it also <laughs> helps to twirl. Is it okay if it has the liquid in it? Yeah, that's just okay. isopropanol. Okay, so we'll just keep it in. That went so well. Uh-oh. Is it stuck? <laughs> okay, here. What helps is to pull some out here. Pull out some isopropanol if it's stuck in and then squeeze that into the tube. Ta-da! There we go. Got it. All my years in science Perfect. have taught me some things. Great, so if you put some isopropanol in the tube or some leftover strawberry juice, your DNA should actually last for years. Yeah. I still have mine from like three years ago when I did this experiment at work. And you have a tiny little bottle of strawberry DNA. Yay. This is the coolest thing ever, in my opinion. So you can put it on a necklace, you can put it on a bracelet, you can wear it around, just have a parent secure it for you and make sure that the isopropanol is not gonna get out. Um, again, this will last for years. Um, there are other ways to do this experiment, so I wanna see what you guys go home and try to take DNA out of. Try it on bananas, kiwis, see what you can get DNA out of and what you can't. So it's the same procedure, just anything you can mash in a bag and mix with the DNA extraction buffer. And if you need to remake it, the instructions are in your protocol. And you should be able to find isopropanol at your local store with the help of a parent. And again, always do this um, safely, wear your safety goggles and everything, right? Yeah. Yes. Cool. So what are you gonna do with yours? Uh, I think I'm gonna like, under someone's pillow or something. <laughs> yeah, like, I would say like, Caroline, why is your snot under my pillow? You have to label it, okay. Anyways, I am so glad you guys stuck around. Thank you so much for watching DNA Extraction with Stumbox, the first one to come of many. Um, tune in next month, we're gonna be doing owl pellet dissections. Learn more about that, that's a cool one. Cool. Bye. Bye.